Hey, this is Professor Perez again from Saddleback College. Today, we're going to look at some metric prefixes. Whew. Now, we can't, of course, we cannot have a class without Charlie, our student of the semester. He better be ready to go. Charlie, ready to go? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Today, we're going to look at metric prefixes. There we go there. Well, what are metric prefixes? Well, let's talk about this one right here. Kilo, abbreviated with a K. That means a thousand times. That's what a kilo means. Well, if you have two kilograms, right? Two kilograms, that actually means you have what we call 2,000 grams. Remember, kilo means thousand. So if you have two kilograms, you have 2,000 grams. Okay? Kilogram is abbreviated with a kg, as you see right there, which is 2,000 grams. Same thing. Okay? Now, in scientific notation, which we should know how to write, 2,000 is written as 2 times 10 to the third. So there's our answer in scientific notation, 2 times 10 to the third grams, and that is 2 kilograms. Okay. Now let's talk about deci. Deci, abbreviated with a D, means one-tenth of. Well, what that means is if you have three decimeters, right, then you have uh, three tenths of a meter. Okay, so notice here, three decimeters is abbreviated with three dm, okay, for decimeters, which means three tenths of a meter because deci, that d, means one tenth of. So three decimeters is three tenths of a meter. Now, in, in, as a decimal representation, that's 0 0.3 meters. Remember, 0 0.3 is three tenths. In scientific notation, what is it, Charlie? Three times ten to the negative one. Three times ten to the neg <coughs> negative one. Very nice meters. Okay. Now, if we're going to look at centi, centi means one hundredth of. Okay, Charlie. Now, if we have three centimeters, okay, that's abbreviated with three. With that cm, that's centimeters. Remember. Now, if centi means a hundredth of, okay, and you have three centimeters. How much of a meter is this, Charlie? Three hundredths. It's three hundredths of a meter because centi means a hundredth of, and you have three of them. Well, in a decimal representation, three hundredths is written as what, Charlie? 0 0.03. 0 0.03 meters. Very nice. And how is that written in scientific notation? Three times ten to the negative two. Three times ten to the negative two meters. Very nice, Charlie. Now remember, if you're having problems with scientific notation, you should have watched those scientific notation videos before you watch this one. Yeah. Goes for you too, Charlie. What? what? Okay, let's talk about milli. Milli. Abbreviated with an M is one thousandths of, okay? Now, if you have three millimeters, okay, three millimeters, That is abbreviated with 3 mm. Now, I know that meters also uses m, but when you see two m's together, okay, it's understood to be millimeters. All right, now, Charlie, milli means one thousandths of, and if we have three millimeters, how many meters is that, Charlie? Three one thousandths. Three one thousandths of a meter. Very nice. Now, how is that written as a decimal? Point zero zero three. 0 0.003. That's right. That's three one thousandths of a meter. Now, in scientific note, Charlie, what's that one? Three times ten to the negative three. Three times ten to the negative three. Very nice, Charlie. That's right. So, three millimeters is three times ten to the negative three meters. All right. Let's do one more, Charlie. Micro. Micro. Okay. There is a symbol for micro. Okay. It's like that. It's like that. Anyway. Micro means one millionth of, okay? So if we have five microliters, Charlie, okay? It's abbreviated with five microliters right there. Now, if we have five of these, Charlie, and micro means one millionth of, okay? Five microliters is how much of a liter? Five one millionths. Five one millionths of a liter, that's right, because micro means one millionth of, and you have five of these. All right, Charlie, so now, how do we write that as a decimal? Point zero, 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 five? Zero, zero, zero. That's right. Okay, you should know all your place value problems here. 
That's right, 0 0.00005. That's right, tough, huh? Okay, we did, we'll do some place values later. Oh, those were actually done earlier in the earlier video. So go watch that one if you have problems with place value. Because for you too, Charlie. Yeah, All right, now how do we write that in scientific notation, Charlie? Five times 10 to the negative six. Five times 10 to the negative six. Very nice, Charlie. And that's your leaders there. So let's go on and do one more. We're having so much fun. Let's go to the nano. Now, nano, use an N to abbreviate it, means one billionth of. If we have seven nanoliters, okay, its abbreviation is 7NL right there, okay. Remember, nano means one billionth of, Charlie, and we have seven of these. So how many liters do we have? Seven nanoliters is what, Charlie, of a liter? Seven billionths. Seven billionths of a liter. Very nice there. Seven over one billion of a liter. Now, in decimal representation, it's right there. That seven is in the one billionth place, okay? And in scientific notation, that's what, Charlie? Seven times 10 to the nine. Ah, that's right, okay. So there we go. So, now, what I want you to notice here, when you deal with prefixes, is the prefix kilo means a thousand. So if we look at the scientific notation over there, notice that's 10 to the third. So two kilograms is two times 10 to the third grams because that 10 to the third means kilo. Remember, 10 to the third means a thousand. Hmm. Let's look at the deci. Now, deci means one tenth of. Well, if we look at the scientific notation, we have 10 to the negative one. Remember, negative exponents, 10 to the negative one is one over 10. So deci is one tenth. Therefore, three decimeters is three times 10 to the negative one meters. Now, we look at centi. Centi means one hundredth of. Now, if we go over to the scientific notation, notice it's three times 10 to the negative two meters. That 10 to the negative two is one over 10 squared, which is one hundredth. And so that 10 to the negative two is representing the centi. The, that's why we have centimeters, okay? And so three times 10 to the negative two meters is the same as saying three centimeters. Okay, let's look at this next one, milli. Milli means one thousandth of. Look at the scientific notation, three times 10 to the negative three. Remember, 10 to the negative three is one over 10 cubed, which means one over a thousandth, right? And so three millimeters is the same as saying three times 10 to the negative three meters because 10 to the negative three actually represents the milli, right? Now, let's go to the micro, okay, micro. Remember, micro means one millionth of, look at the scientific notation, that's 10 to the negative six, which is one over 10 to the six, which is one over a million, right? One over a million represents micro. So five times 10 to the negative six liters is five microliters. We got one more here, seven nanoliters, nano, means one billionth of, and again, we look at the scientific notation, 10 to the negative nine is one over 10 to the ninth, which is one over a billionth, and so seven times 10 to the negative ninth liters is the same as saying seven nanoliters. There you go. So that's a review of your metric prefixes. Now you'll be using these in some of your metric calculations. Anyway, it's time to go. We don't take a break and come back later and do some more math. And be sure you do all of your homework. And remember, say yes to homework and no to drugs. Got that, Charlie? Uh, we'll see you again soon.